making a life worth living and retirement worth having is really about how we plan for our lives. It's about how we put things into our bags, we go out for travel, and we might stop someplace like a Panera or some sort of fast food place, and we're served by millennials. The problem is that millennials don't always know what is right and what is wrong in this world. We often think that it's a good old time to take out of things out of a person's baggage while they fall asleep. It's not like they don't know what the law is, theft is illegal, and yet these millennials see it as a video game, that they're stealing some loot from someone like a character in a video game, and that's illegal, it's immoral, and it's illicit. But where are the police to monitor these children who are working in our fast food restaurants, who are tainting our food and possibly making us sleep longer than we had actually planned at all? And maybe we didn't plan to fall asleep at all. Maybe there's someone who's tainting our food so that they can get into our packages, get into our property and violate federal law and international human rights law, which says we have the right to our personhood, our property, our possessions, and our paperwork. In this current audio cast that I'm producing for Magic and Mayhem, we have to openly understand that when we are lawfully in the world, we are also lawfully liable for the things that we do and the things that we proactively don't do. You see, when a manager allows someone to get into someone's bag while they sleep, it's sort of ridiculous. But when we don't pay attention, when we think the right to play games and to harm and harass people, that's an entirely different situation. It is federally illegal to stalk someone, it's federally illegal to steal from them, and it's federally immoral to do some of these things in God's house. And openly, people often use religion as a way to harm people's lives. They don't think about the realities that Lord God makes them all. They simply decide, we don't like this person, so we're going to participate in the mobbing of them. The mobbing is when people get pings on their phone, they get told information that's private, that's not their private little business, and they start to get involved in doing things immoral, illicit, and otherwise. I get hit on all the time because I walk. My car was impounded. My business vehicle was impounded by a police officer who literally thought they had the right to do it. They didn't have the right to do it. I had permission to leave it precisely where it was on a retail restaurant's property. But instead, she impounded the car. So while I was impounded, it was impounded. And then the charges rang up. Charges rang up so high that it's beyond the value of the vehicle. Because the last time it was impounded, someone ruined the car. They stole a brand new muffler, they took out a radio deck, and they openly just thought, as long as it's in the impound, we're going to ruin this. I make precious gems and things for a Christian company. And openly, all of those things that I made were almost destroyed. All the marketing materials were taken out of the packages. They were crumpled and shoved around. The gems and stones that we had put together in a certain pattern were literally taken from them and thrown about in my vehicle at impound. Now, who gives them the lawful right to do that? No one, actually, gives them the lawful right to do that, just as much as, like, gives no one the right to voyeur in on someone's life. We have to produce a living, we have to produce it on the road, and we have to keep going, regardless of what someone thinks of our practical faith. Because underneath the First Amendment, we have the right to our own faith. We have the right to practice our own spirituality. We have the right to believe in the God that speaks to us in any way that we can, and openly that is our faithful right. Now, these audio files in Magic and Mayhem that are online in YouTube and have been now for many months and many years of my own productivity in the community allow me to do this. I don't have to put my face on those audio files because they're audio files. I can market myself in any way I want to, but that is my lawful right. There are people in this world that stalk, that harm, that take, that steal, and that use phrases that they've learned from the Middle East to manipulate a person's life. People of our generation don't like to hear about that because when you're in your 50s and heading towards your retirement years, you want to know that lawfully your bank accounts and everything you do is safe. But the truth is the Catch Me If we if You Can movie that came out a few years back has changed the shift of many millennials' ideas, that they will walk into a company, pretend to be an employee there by simply buying one of those uniforms online, getting it from their friend, or simply getting it from Goodwill from somebody who quit a place and was too lazy to return their uniform. The reality is that's what happens all the time. It's not true, but it can happen. It really does happen in Hamilton County, and people are being harmed by that result. I've also observed some other things being a reporter and a journalist and highly observant of what goes on. But what I find highly offensive is that someone in some retail establishment thinks that when I'm paying for a meal there and I happen to fall asleep because I'm exhausted, that they have some right to get into my property and steal things. I've already discovered multiple things stolen from me as I'm traveling, and I find that beyond offensive. I would think other people would be too. It's like someone putting a hand in, in a lady's pocketbook. It's like someone putting their hand down a man's pants. And frankly, I've had that happen as well. And that's not right. We have to put ourselves in a moralistic society. We have to get on with our life. We have to realize that our life is ours. Someone else's life is theirs. And it's not your right to say one more thing to anyone else if you don't have the maturity to walk up to them and say, Hi, 
My name is such and such. What is it that you do for a living? Or how can I help you? Or what might we do in a profitable partnership to one with one another? Or maybe I'd invite you to church or something. But I've also seen that little game played on a lot of people. When I'm talking and recording, I have that lawful right as a reporter to do that. That is a part of our profession. We go places, record things. It doesn't matter if we're eating breakfast or if we're doing anything else. It doesn't matter if our face is on the video or if our face is on the news television show. What matters is who's viewing and what they're viewing and how they're seeing it. And in life, we have the right to do those things. And that is the federal law that we all live with under. So for some reason, we're not teaching the Constitution very well to our children because I'm seeing a lot of millennials violate that law. They think if somebody calls them and says, I'm a police officer, you need to do this to somebody's food, they'll do it out of stupidity and not understanding international human rights law that is governed by the United Nations. You see, we have a lot of problems in this world that we don't recognize the laws that govern our nation, the laws that govern us federally, and a lot of the local laws are totally misinterpret by the people who are protecting us, supposedly, from other peoples and other nations. But openly, all I see in this community is people sitting around in their vehicles doing lex to nothing in terms of research, investigation, and other things that they should be doing to protect us from the millennials who are walking into shops, firing people as if they work for companies, taking over those profitabilities, and then those shops close because for some reason they can't figure out why their money's not there. And that's the truth. There's also lying police officers who take our property, and I've had that happen a million times. But that's my right. As a reporter, I can say anything I want to because it's an audio file which we'll have video on top of. But in truth, I have the right to do this. I have the right to be here, and no one can say otherwise. But if they mess with my food, what I pay for, that is a federal offense. And we have to look at that. What rights do we have are not the point that everyone has rights. We have rights to be quiet. We have rights to be loud. We have rights to do a lot of things. But the people who stalk, that harm, that destroy are the ones that go to federal prison. And that's what needs to happen here. I'm going to stop recording, but I want to thank you, as always, for listening to Magic and Mayhem, the life moments that we have in our lives are the ones that make all the difference for the people in our lives, around our lives, and the total strangers that we meet everywhere we go. Thanks for listening.